What, you guys never seen a man feed another man an apple before? The fuck you looking at? C can I have some of that? <laughs> I think he was raised by birds, dude. It's a sign of respect. No! So what's going on guys, so we're back with a new video and today's one we're checking out a DayZ standalone Battle Royale mod. So I had heard of this Battle Royale mod that was coming out and it was currently in the works for Everybody quite a while build. and they're now currently in the beta testing for the game. I was watching Don Sibley play the game and he was actually playing in the Battle Royale and so got into it, got the server info, realized I was actually in the server the discord server for it and so got all the information on all the mods and here we are ready to play so we're waiting for the game to load up should be starting very very soon there is only 11 people on at the moment is also very late it's nearly 5 a.m in the morning over here when i'm recording this eu time so quite late hey there's daytime and so yeah we're hopefully going to try and survive for as long as we can. The games tend to last quite a bit. I think they usually last to about 45 minutes or so. Uh, now, I joined his stream late when he was late into another game, so I don't know how this actually starts. Like, I know we jump in and stuff, so I'm guessing we go find loot and stuff, so... <laughs> if I kill you, all right, yeah. I'll try. I'll see how we go. All right, some good 11 players. Oh, we, should, uh, we should try and get a few more people from, from my Discord over in this later, eh? The more the merrier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start working on this, getting some more people in. This is great. Is it open for anyone to stream? Or would you prefer to keep it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're in. I think we're about to go in. So, a couple of things to it. Here's where I am um, on the map. Can't move yet. Got one bandage. We just spawn in red clothing, which is very, uh, very bright. So this has, it has circles and everything that get smaller as the game progresses and stuff. And if you are outside of the circle, outside the safe zone when it's closing, you do slowly take damage and that's how you die. There is no gas or anything like that. So yeah, my character seems kind of, I don't know if it got stuck or something. I had the jump run. I thought we were still standing, kind of still and waiting for the game to actually load, but no, it puts us in straight away. So that would, might've been, would've been a glitch on my part. On my end. We are running. There's a little shack up here. Little shed. I think it's actually a greenhouse. So we're gonna go and check it out. There might be a house around us or somewhere like that. Oh my god, hold up. Hey, we got a pistol, we got a Glock at least. I think. Actually take the Glock. Up, go, put you. Put this pressure on as well, make my shots a little bit island, hopefully. There, bandages on number two, and then a morphine, probably on number three, would be the best way to do this. So basically top right there's 11 people as you can see and it tells you that I'm in the safe zone at the moment. The circle tells me that I'm in the safe zone and everything is good at the moment. So I'm currently safe but uh, I can become unsafe and it'll tell you it'll come up with a little notification when I'm actually outside of the zone. So I had messed up a little bit on my very first game of this as well. What usually happens is you get a notification telling you the circle's closing in and that you need to move, get to the safe zone and stuff like that. I had all my expansion notifications turned off. I usually have them turned off when I'm recording videos and stuff like that as well, just so there's not a lot of spam on the screen. I had them off, never realized I had them off until I died at the end here and then realized that, oh yeah, they're off. So I'm cutting out the rest of this game because there's not much to it, just me running around I didn't know that I, was, I wasn't even getting the full experience of the game. Check the map. 
Okay, we gotta go. I might actually die from this. I wasn't paying attention to the circle. Uh-oh, I could be dead here. I don't know if I have my server notifications off or something. Just, I might have my server messages off. Maybe that's why I didn't see the, uh... Yeah, I'm dead, so... Damn it! Yeah, that's my fault. I think I have my server messages off and I didn't see that the sun was closing. Oh, no. Yeah, it's my bad. Well, that was a rip on my part. Hopefully game two, though, will do a bit better. In for it, game two. Here we go. Um, changed a few things up. Uh, I've changed the keybind as well, so I've mapped my map to an actual button on my mouse now instead. So hopefully it should give us a... Um, give me a bit of an advantage as well. I'd never thought of doing it before, and I'm like, this is the perfect game mode to try doing something like that in, so... See how we go. Oh, crap. I messed up here. Just gonna try and get out of here a little bit or just move away. That nice and hopefully don't distract anyone else because I do not have a um, knife this time. If I do aggro a zombie, I'm kind of screwed. Because then, like, the only way I'll be able to kill them is by literally uh, shooting them. That attracts too much attention, so we ain't doing that. Something in here. Ooh, hello. Take the mag out of that. Drop you on the ground, don't need you anymore. Put you. There. Put a mag in you. So. Long range and short range started. Water canteen, nice. But I am outside the zone, am I? Okay, literally not too far, thankfully. Okay, it'll start moving in soon, so... Better get... Still in bright red, it's not very, uh... Definitely not the way I want to be, uh... Running around for too long, like, anyway, because it will, uh... Won't oh, end very well. Okay, looks like uh, there isn't much around. We did really spawn in quite a in a quiet area. But I think if I keep heading down this way, I'll be able to uh, find some. I just want to make sure I'm in the circle. Yes. Your house is over here. I'll quickly go and check. Uh, but we're kind of sorted. We have a short range, have a long range. But this bright red is not going to work. This mod is going to be amazing if they can get servers, you know, full pop. So the, the max amount of people are going to have on servers is 60. And then you will be able to play from there. And I think that's going to be really, really good. Cess there. I do not think that is worth taking because I... From what I remember... Pretty crap. Was I hearing things? I'm not sure. I'm gonna take that scope just to keep it uh, in case I need it later on. There is a possibility I was just hearing things there. You know what it probably was? It was those pigs, I'm guessing. What were making the noise and scaring me. This zone will appear in one minute, so it gives you updates as to when zones are appearing and stuff, so you're not kind of guessing. Do I actually take the bigger uh, round gun? Probably should take the better AK. But not outside the zone, let's go. As you can see, top right as well. It shows the number of players in games since eight at the moment. There is also a kill fee that you would have seen there a little while ago. And it shows you how far away you are from the news circle as well. Uh, which it counts down to as well, which is great. And it seems to give you enough time as well. Like, you usually have two minutes to get into it. And if you're in a town, there's usually vehicles nearby. So if you're a really good bit away, for whatever reason, you shouldn't have a problem. 
getting into it. But the, the outer zone does hurt. I think you have about 30 to 45 seconds before it kills you. It seemed faster, but that could be just me uh, thinking it is, but it, it's brutal anyway. Okay, we're in. I'm gonna get up by these rocks to check out, see what we're uh, gonna do. Check out the map. Oh wow, we're, yeah, we're a good bit out. Oh shit, okay, right, we gotta go. Game, leave me down. Stairs, oh my god, this is glitchy. Very glitchy, holy shit. Okay, we like really got to go. There's a tractor there, so you're thinking... I, I, I was thinking of taking it, but I'm not going to... Reason is, tractors are a death trap by themselves. They're just cars in general. They're just a bit of a death trap, so... You're only better off running. I think some kind of mini-map would be kind of cool for this as well. Maybe a lot, not like a full-blown mini-map, but maybe utilizing the expansion GPS that's in the game. Use that as a mini-map. It's almost close in 30 seconds, Jesus Christ. You absolutely gotta go for it. 10 seconds? Oh my god, this goes fast. I think I might be dead to zone again. Taking zone damage. Yeah, I'm dead to zone. God damn it. Ah, uh, that's a 9. Well, this game's a GG anyway. Um, there's no way I'm gonna survive this. I'll be dead before, well before I can get into it. So yeah, the one thing that I will say, zones are very big, but I can see where they're coming from when they want to put 60 players on a server. Uh, it makes a bit more sense. But, yeah, it's pity. Um, yeah, we're dead anyway, so. It's it's good concept. I'll definitely still be trying it out and testing it a bit more as well, but. Yeah, these running into zones and stuff is a bit of a pain. It's the only issue I kind of see with it so far. Yeah, there's no point even running anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all the stuff and information for it in the description down below. So if you're wanting to come and play on the servers whenever they're doing testing or be in the Discord or anything like that, all the information will be down below. But yeah, otherwise than that, I should catch you guys in the next video and peace out for now.